Welcome to Yolo, Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. Check out heart racing attractions. <laughs> and taste mouth-watering foods that only this great state has to offer. Look, tamale in there. I don't know why I was so surprised about that. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, YOLO! You only live once, Texas. Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide for all the coolest places all over the state of Texas. I'm your host, AC, and we've got a great show coming at you today. We're headed to the town of Comfort, Texas to check out a distillery that's truly making a name for itself. But up first, we're headed to Uvalde to check out a ranch that's letting folks unleash their inner warrior as we visit a place called literally Drive Tanks, where you go out there and well, you get to drive tanks, for real. Let's go ahead and check this out. Driving around this charming downtown, you wouldn't imagine that tucked away in the outskirts of town lives a unique ranch which is home to thousands of free-range exotic wildlife. Good morning, had a great night's sleep. I'm uh, gonna get some breakfast here soon. I mean, hello, what kind of place, what other place can you go? Be greeted by a llama. Hi, that was my breakfast, but what of? And since my new friend ate my breakfast, I decided to see what the dining hall was serving up. So a uh, cool little fun fact is they have a Cordon Bleu chef, a uh, hand make and uh, freshly bake all of their food daily. Nice. Bon appetit. And with breakfast complete, I met up with the Ox Ranch marketing director Hi, to get more background of this nice beautiful to ranch. Welcome to Ox Ranch. What exactly is Ox Ranch? Because you do a little bit of it all. Ox Ranch is an 18,000 acre hunting ranch. We have been around now for about four and a half years. There's so much land here that is like what's blowing my mind, but what it kind of activities do you have for folks who want to come out and stay over? Okay, so we've got different hunting packages. Um, we've got over 69 different species out here. We offer a safari tour. We have some dinosaur tracks located on the ranch. You can come out and feed the giraffes, the kangaroos. I'm gonna take you out there today, take you on a safari tour. They're amazing creatures. Oh It'll my be goodness. very exciting for you. Okay, so lastly, there are some cabins out here also. So what kind of lodging accommodations do you offer folks? So we've got the, the nine luxury cabins located around the lodge. Um, and then we have 15 smaller cabins. Um, I'm gonna take you down here in a little bit to check out the Blue Hole Cabin, uh, which is one of our luxury cabins. Ooh, all right, let's do that, I'm excited. All right. The Jeep it is. This is our blue hole cabin. It is blue hole one and two. It could be one cabin or it could be two cabins. This has one king size bed. Nice, talk about luxury. I like the spiral staircase here. Yeah, you could bring the whole family out here. Now this is not a bad view to wake up to every morning. Not only is Ox Ranch a premier hunting ranch, but it's also home to thousands of unique species. And what makes this place really special is you get to meet them firsthand. So Jason was our tour guide and gave us a ride. Hi, this is one of my favorite pigs ever. That's a called a red river hog, and they're from like Central Africa. Yar, oinkers! Here at Ox Ranch lives over 60 species across 18,000 acres of land. Today you'll find ostriches, water buffaloes, camels, and dozens more. So we have a ostrich causing a traffic jam. <laughs> this is uh, our first baby that we had born here. That's a baby? That's a baby. <laughs> the baby wants some. And we have five areas because there are certain species that we don't want to uh, crossbreed that, that can. Ox Ranch's mission is mainly focused on wildlife conservation by providing these animals a quality of life they won't find anywhere else. Don't eat my hair. 
The animals are fed with golden nuggets, which is packed with good nutrients and protein to help sustain a long-lasting life. Oh, they're here! And to take things to new heights, a herd of giraffe roam freely along the property, allowing you a chance to snap the perfect photo. Talk about an African safari right in the heart of Texas. She's not that much taller than me. And speaking of exotic species, there's even evidence of creatures that once roamed this area. There's dinosaur tracks. Exactly how big his claw was on his, on his foot there. Crazy. Jason, thank you so much for this tour. This has been educational and fun at the same time. I got to learn so much about the different animals and everything from the camels to the dinosaur tracks to the giraffe and you know, everything in between. Yeah, it's my, been my pleasure. And you know, I hear y'all got some tank activities to do this afternoon. Oh, yeah. So I know you'll have a good time with that, but uh, we probably already start heading back. Alrighty, thank you. All right. Uvalde is also home to one of the most impressive collections of tanks around. And to learn a little bit more about this historic machinery, I met up with the owner and CEO of Drive Tanks. All right, so now that we switched gears a little bit, we're over here at Drive Tanks talking to the owner and CEO here. Todd, thank you so much for taking the time. It is a pleasure to be standing right next to you. Uh, oh, it's my pleasure. How did this all come about, Drive Tanks, in this beautiful hill country land? Well, you know, my stepson and I, we started collecting tanks about eight years ago, and when we made the first tank live, the gun, Sherman, developed loads for the Sherman and shot it, it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up and we thought, man, people would just love to do this and, and he said, I'd travel a long way to do it and he's been all over the world so yeah. it's like, I would do this. So we came up with a business model from that point. Wonderful and now you have this going on behind me. I see a lot of great hardware, historical hardware. So what kind of collection do you have back here? Oh, we have everything from uh, World War II tanks all the way through the modern tanks, the most modern tanks in civilian hands. Yeah. Uh, the World War II tanks. The thing about it is we have several tanks that fire live main gun rounds and we're the only place in the world that you can have somebody come out and they can shoot a main gun round. I've had people, 85 year old ladies come out to celebrate their birthday and we've tried to keep the price points for everybody. Yeah. You know we do have expensive things because these things are expensive to maintain but we do have something for everybody and we kind of give ourselves the title of uh, living museum and we are a museum as well. Yeah. They get a little historical aspect in the same time they're having a blast. Yeah, a blast. I love how you <laughs> put that together. And you said Living Museum. I would love to maybe take a look around if you wouldn't mind showing us how you do things around here. No, I'd love to. I mean, let's, let's go take a look. Maybe we can even do something. Okay, perfect. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we are sticking around with drive tanks and firing off some serious ordnance. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas where we are out on this beautiful day here in the Texas Hill Country at Ox Ranch and you just saw us go through a safari tour. We saw some beautiful animals and I got to feed some giraffe. How cool is that? But now it's time to switch up the pace a little bit and walk on over to Drive Tanks where we're literally going to drive tanks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Drive Tanks has a pretty impressive collection of modern and historic military hardware, including the iconic Sherman. And to show us around properly, we met up with Todd, owner of Drive Tanks. First thing we have right here, uh, when you walk in our doors, our uh, machine guns. It's an awesome display of modern weaponry all the way to World War II machine guns. Every one of these machine guns work. People can actually experience them. Then over here is probably the pride of our fleet. Wow. This is our Sherman. It's an M4A2E8 Sherman. It's also called the EZ8. The difference between this one is our gun is actually a live gun, a main gun. People can actually shoot the live gun. It's the only place in the world that they can do that. That's right, it's the only live museum where you can drive and shoot actual full power loads like soldiers would back in the war. We really want to make sure everything's historically accurate. Yeah. It's not just a matter of making something fire. We want it to do what it did in the war. Our, our tank rounds, our howitzer rounds, our pack gun rounds, they're, they're full power loads. All right, so this is the tank yeah, you're going to be driving. It's a Leopard 1. <laughs> we have one outside ready to go for you. Your driving compartment's in that area there. We got one of my best cadre there to kind of walk you through and make sure you don't kill any trees. Oh my goodness, yeah. Wait, so 
I get to be inside this tank. This tank is the one you're going to be driving, just like it, right outside your chariot awaits. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's do it. My heart's pumping. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But before we could tackle the range, I needed a tank driving lesson first. Howdy, howdy, how's it going? Howdy, how's it going? Aaron. Spencer, good you're to gonna, see you. You're going to be our cadre. Gonna be your cadre. Yep. Awesome. Today, we got the German Leopard 1A Forte. Nice. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> okay. Well, what it means is we got a uh, very modern main battle tank, very easy to drive. In fact, we've had even kids drive this thing, so I'm going to teach you how to do this thing. It's going to be a really rigorous training exercise, right? You're going to have to know every in and out of this. Video. I'm just joking. Do I need notes? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Simple as this. You've driven, you drove here, right? So yeah. you have a steering wheel, left goes left, right goes right, gas and a brake. So okay. um, we're going to load up and then get it started, go have some fun. Let's do this. Let's do it. Next step, getting behind the controls and manning a big piece of history. Cool. Okay. Everything's ready. So go ahead, start the tank, and make sure you don't turn the steering wheel. Ah, okay. Three, two, one. Yellow! There you go. You got it. You got it to do the auto. Nicely done. Not bad for a 20-second instruction. <laughs> and hard left. Yeah! Good job. Sick. Good job driving. Yeah, we, you survived, I survived. Hey. It was a good trip. Nicely done. Woo! But the fun didn't stop there because Drive Tanks also gives you the option of firing off a few rounds of guns and cannons too. Yeah, and yeah, my choice was the M250 caliber. Okay. Y'all. Yeah. Look at the size of these bullets. Welcome to the range. We got the M250 caliber machine gun. We got some rounds. Those are big. Oh yeah. You ready to shoot? <laughs> yes, I All think right. so. Go ahead, get your earphones on. We'll get behind the gun. All right, let's do this. And now that we were locked and loaded, it was time to fire away. You're okay. good. Go ahead. Underhand, down, back. Let okay. it charge. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, shoot. All right. Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> did I see that? Yeah. Oh, shoot! That's a lot of power! Boom! <laughs> Holy moly, I just drove a tank and now I get to fire one? And of all the tanks, the Sherman! <laughs> So if you've seen the movie Theory, this is the same model Brad Pitt drives, but it was also the backbone of American tanks during World War II. America now, if you're watching Yellow in Texas! <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. Thank you so much. Seriously, most fun I've had in ever. <laughs> that's awesome. That's what we want to hear. That's 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 our goal. If you're looking for something a little rarer, Drive Tanks brings a whole new meaning to spending a day out on the range. And to make it even more fun, Ox Ranch adds a different caliber of adventure too. Alrighty, that just about does it for us here at Drive Tanks in Ox Ranch. Oh my goodness, we had the absolute time of our lives. My ears are still ringing, my adrenaline's still pumping. I don't know what to do with myself right now. So I guess we'll just head back to the studio and call it a day. YOLO, sexy. Want to fire away at Drive Tanks and Ox Ranch? Visit the links below for more. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Now after all the fun and adrenaline we just experienced from Drive Tanks, we decided to slow it down a bit and check out a unique distillery located in Comfort, Texas. Bottoms up y'all. Comfort, Texas, located in the beautiful Texas Hill Country and home to, well, Hill Country Distillers, a unique and growing distillery owned by husband and wife team, John and Casey Kovacs. John, you are the owner here, but uh, I want to know how long have y'all been open and uh, how has the industry grown since y'all have been? Well, we've been open three and a half years and the industry is exploding. We have some really unique attributes and I think our distillery really showcases some of the uniqueness. What we do is very different than what anyone else is doing. Our main product that we make most of our alcohol from is 
a prickly pear cactus pad. There can't be anything more Texas than that. <laughs> Our only a... other base ingredient is a jalapeno pepper. Yeah. Again, how Texas yeah. is that? <laughs> well, thank you so much, John. Uh, can't wait to get in the back there. You ready to go? Absolutely. You'll go see some things you've never seen before. So this is the distillery. This is where all the magic happens. Perfect. It's a very small place, but you'd be surprised how much stuff we get done right inside here. Wonderful. Okay, and so this is the first not fun job that we have. <laughs> this is James Stout, our head distiller, and this is his first bad job of the day. <laughs> Topping up the cactus that they just went out and harvested at the ranches around here. Would you like to try this? I would. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna leave it to the pros from here on out. All right. All right, we're on to the second dirty job of the day. <laughs> Our other product that we make is made from jalapeno peppers instead of cactus. So he will chop up by hand 100 pounds of jalapenos at a time. Two, one. Uh, whoever okay. gets to enjoy that one, uh, made with love. And once all the ingredients were ready, it was time to make some spirits. He takes that 100 pounds of jalapenos and throws it in here. And we add sugar and yeast and a couple of secret ingredients. Wow and it makes alcohol. So how long do you, these guys stay in here? It, it averages 18 to 20, 21 days. Very natural, very simple process. Again, it's not like they do it in Kentucky or yeah. Tennessee or, or anywhere else. It's all Texas. Wonderful. And we'll bring it right around here and it goes straight into the still. So what we have cooking today is a batch of the cactus. Okay. So after the 20 days, it goes in there. It's, you know, most, uh, Vodkas are distilled seven, eight, nine times to make them smooth. Yeah. We do it in a single run. You wow. just gotta come over here <laughs> once in a while and taste a little bit. Awesome. That's when you know Not it's a bad good. job. Woo! That'll wake you up. <laughs> Woo! I think it's ready. Right in the sweet spot of the hearts right now. All right, now that you've seen how we make it, let's go in and try some of the good stuff that comes out of these barrels. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> All so right. this is our uh, tasting room and our bar Wonderful. where everybody gets to enjoy the product. Now, you really get to taste the good Texas stuff now. Oh yeah. And I promise you this is going to be different than anything you've ever had. So this is our Texas prickly pear spirit. If you smell it, you get a little smell of tequila, but you don't get the harshness of tequila. I was going to say, yeah, I got like a tequila taste to that. Yeah. Okay. This is going to taste just like a great cup of coffee. Where's the alcohol in that? It's in it. Now, you want to try a complete cocktail? We can step over to the bar. Let's do it. Well, thank you so much for your hospitality. Thank this you. has been a fun trip out to Comfort, Texas. Um, I can't wait to come back and uh, really enjoy myself, if you know what I mean, without the cameras here. So, there you uh, go. cheers. There you go. <laughs> cheers, y'all. Want to visit Hill Country Distillers for yourself? Well, visit hillcountrytxdistillers.com for more information. Coming up, we are giving you a sneak peek into what Yellow Texas has in store. See you after the break. Welcome back to Yellow Texas. And before we wrap up and give you a sneak peek of the shows to come, we want to send a big thank you to our friends over at Ox Hunting Ranch, Drive Tanks, and Hill Country Distillers. We had an amazing time visiting and we can't wait to be back. So here's some more information on the places you saw today. Have you ever thought about feeding a giraffe and getting up close and personal with some exotic animals? Well, take the family out to Ox Ranch any time of the year. Check out the link below to book your stay now. Interested in spending an explosive time at the ranch? Well, visit the links below to make your reservation today. Want to sip on some true Texas spirits with a kick? Well, head on over to Hill Country Distillers and tell them Yellow Texas sent you. As 
as you know, there are always so many exciting events going on across Texas, including the San Antonio Wings and Beer Fest going on March 24th at the Alamo Beer Company. We'll be there too, so make sure to mark your calendar and here are some more events going on around the Lone Star State. And you know we cannot end the show without offering a special giveaway, so be sure to visit our website at yellowgx.com slash giveaway to sign up for any current promotions such as this one. A California prize pack where you get a chance to experience what our Yellow Texas crew did out in Buena Park, Costa Mesa, and Irvine in Orange County, California. Plus, stay caught up with any previous episodes of Yellow Texas that you may have missed. Hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Here's a preview of what's to come later this year. All right, that's all the time we have here today on Yellow Texas. Make sure to like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, it's a big world out there, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all next week.